guys, hope everything is going well. Today we are gonna work on the car. We're gonna spend some time cleaning up the wheels and get the brake calipers ready for paint. So step one, we have to change our outfit and get into work clothes. Well, now that we're all changed, um, we're gonna be jacking up the back of the car first. I only have two jack stands, so we're gonna start at the back. Uh, we're gonna take the wheels off and get cleaning. So if you look down the center of the vehicle at the back, there's a jacking point just below the rear subframe. Be careful when you're jacking because you are very low to the vehicle. You don't want to smack it on the back bumper here. So put your hand there just to make sure you're not going to hit it and begin jacking. All right, so you want to make sure while the car is still on the ground and you don't jack it all the way up um, that you break the back lug nuts. Um, because I'm doing the back first, if I were to jack it all up, the tire would just keep spinning unless I pulled the emergency brake. Um, so it's just easier to do it while it's still on the ground. Then you're going to grab your jack stands and slide them underneath the car. Make sure when you slide them you're not hitting the side skirt or anything. There is a pinch weld right uh, just past the side skirt here, so make sure the jack stand is in the middle of that so that when you drop the car it's not hitting the side skirt and crushing anything underneath. Um, and I'm going to add a rag just to make sure that we don't scratch the underside of the car at all. Okay, so now that we have the wheel off, we want to start with some brake cleaner and like a wire brush, anything to kind of agitate. Um, I have a lot of salt and dirt stuck up on my brake calipers, so I'm gonna definitely need to get in there. I've lined my mat with a uh, paper towel just because the brake clean is gonna probably get everywhere. So we'll start with that. So with the brake caliper, you want to make sure that you tape off anything that you don't want to get tape on. So there's these little pins here. There's a rubber piece back here. Obviously your line. There's another rubber piece underneath here. Um, and then I started taping off just this black section. Um, and then we're going to garbage bag the rest. But make sure you take the time to actually do that because prep work makes it work that much better. So as you can see, I'm quite the artist here. Um, but we've taped everything off. Um, I am scared of overspray. I know this is kind of maybe a little bit overkill, but I definitely want to make sure that nothing gets on the car or on the floor. Um, we've taped off all the little pieces, the rubber pieces and that kind of stuff. The last step is either to use isopropyl alcohol, um, acetone, anything like that, just to get all those extra little grease marks, fingerprints, anything that may be left um, as a residue on there. So just spray it on like a cloth or a rag and kind of just go over the entire caliper once again uh, to make sure it's clean. Okay, so we picked up some caliper paint from Fat Guys Auto Parts. Shout out to them. Uh, it's VHT caliper paint, so it's meant just for the calipers. Uh, it goes all the way up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit, so I think we'll be fine. Um, the color is real red, so hopefully uh, it looks pretty good. Okay guys, so um, I did four coats of the red and then I did, sorry the ball was rolling around, I did three coats of the clear coat over top and this is our finished product. Um, so it's really nice actually, it turned out really well. Um, there's a couple little imperfections that no one is ever going to see, 
Um, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It was super easy to do. The hardest part I would say is just prepping the actual brake caliper, making sure that it's as clean as possible um, so the paint actually sticks to it. But other than that, I'm really happy with the results. So I'm gonna flip over to the other side and then we'll do the fronts.